Yeah. We all go through life like bulls in a china shop. A chip here, a crack there. Doing damage to ourselves, to other people. So, uh, I don't cook. Nobody asked you to cook? I know, I'm just saying that, you know, I don't cook, so you don't have to cook. I don't expect you to cook for me. Okay, you sit there. Sit down. I want you to drink this and try really hard to act like you aren't scary and damaged. I'm not scary and damaged. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not scary or damaged. Mm -hmm. All right. Why don't you tell me about your family? Okay. Me not wanting to talk about my family does not make me scary or damaged. Okay. Tell me about the last guy you slept with. The problem is trying to figure out how to control the damage we've done. Or that's been done to us. What did you say to him? Nothing. I fled the scene. Are you going to tell him about George or Derek? Nope. Hmm. You like him? I could like him. Is your sex any good? I don't know. Four dates and two sleepovers at his place and no sex? Not even a kiss goodnight. Oh, I am proud. I'm like a proud mama. Shut up. <laughs> Morning. Sometimes the damage catches us by surprise. <laughs> oh my God. Did that just happen? I'm having a seizure. I'm clearly <laughs> with seizure. I'm freezing. Oh my God. She didn't even wash her hands. Oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes we think we can fix the damage. All I'm saying, George, is if she needs to pee, she could at least wear a bra or maybe wait until she's alone. And for the love of everything sanitary, could she just wash her hands? She's a surgeon. Did you saw if you guys were blocking the sink. Any, I think you're exaggerating. She peed, naked peeing. Ask Meredith, Meredith. Oh, that's right, I forgot, you're not talking to her. Oh, if you were, she would tell you that Cali crosses the line. So cross the line, so freaking cross. <laughs> oh, oh, we're still pretending that you're not seeing a patient, right? People, what's with all the evil misery? Ah, live, and let live. You're cheerful. Oh, you are. Uh, How's that possible? I scrubbed in on a four-hour perisophageal hernia last night. Then I got laid. And now three ambulances are coming in full of bloody, broken car crash victims, all who need to be cut open. So I'm here. I'm and here. sometimes I'm the here. damage is something we can't even see. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm... Hey. How's my dog? Much better. He's running tests. Good. Good. Our dog. What? Our dog. You said my dog. He's our dog. Yeah, whatever. Are you mad at me or something? No, it's not the time. Marshall Stone, surgical intern at Mercy West. What happened? Agent Worth gonna take a look at his wrist and let CT know we're coming. Yes, Dr. Right. Shepard. Marshall, I'm gonna say three words to you, okay? And then I want you to repeat them back to Dr. Gray. Can you do that? Okay. Okay, bat, orange, car. You think you remember that? Mm hmm Good. Okay. Here. He has a closed head injury. Watch for vomiting. Confusion and loss of consciousness, okay? All right. Good. Derek. Not now. Let me know when you get the CT report back. Marshall, can you remember those words? What? What happened? Okay, we get the CT result back yet? Not yet. Well, GCS was 13. Why haven't I had a CT? Dr. Gray. CT was backed up. And he's lucid now, so... So get it done, now! Okay, you can take care of it now, all right? How in the hell do you let a patient get that far off your watch? 
I turned my back for a second. He was in the damn gallery. He's a surgical intern at Mercy West. I don't West care if he is the Surgeon General. In this hospital, he is a patient with a head injury who needs a CT. In this hospital, he is a scared guy who does not need to see the massive internal injuries of the woman he rammed with his car. This is your fault. You had him and you lost him. You gotta take responsibility for your actions for once in your life. Derek. Page me. CT results. Good, thank you. All right, let's see what we got here. Marshall, everything checks out fine. Short-term memory loss was a result from the concussion. To be safe, I want to keep you here overnight for observation, all right? I have to apologize. What? To the woman's family. I have to tell them I'm sorry for what I did. You should get some rest. I never should have told you about George. No, it's fine. I'm glad I know about him and the vet. You really get around. What did you just say to me? It's unforgivable. I don't remember ever asking you to forgive me. So was the knitting a phase? Who's next, Alex? Because I hear he likes to sleep around. You two have that in common. You don't get to call me a whore. When I met you, I thought I had found the person that I was going to spend the rest of my life with. I was done. So all the boys and all the bars and all the obvious daddy issues, who cared? Because I was done. You left me. You chose Addison. I'm all glued back together now. I make no apologies for how I chose to repair what you broke. You don't get to call me a whore. This thing with us is finished. It's over. Finally. Yeah, it's done. It is done. Driving me crazy with the hovering. <laughs> this could be a mistake. This, us. You, you're, you're a really nice guy, and, and well, you, you don't want to get involved with me. If you knew me, scary, Finn, and damaged. Say, I told you. If you knew me. If you knew my family, if I told you the guys that I've slept with lately, the scary and damage may actually be more than you can handle. My mother's dead. She got cancer when I was 10, and she suffered for a really long time. And then she died. And my father never recovered. It's kind of like he died with her, except that his body's above ground, and permanently placed in front of the TV with a bottle of scotch in his lap. The last woman I slept with was my wife, but she died too. It was a car crash, so it was quick. She didn't suffer, which I appreciated. Don't worry. I'm thinking that my luck is beginning to change because I've met you. And you like dogs, and you enjoy pony births. And you have the ability to save lives. I never said I wasn't scary and damaged, too. 